Egyptian authorities have forced a Guardian journalist to leave the country after she reported on a scientific study that said Egypt was likely to have many more coronavirus cases than have been officially confirmed. Here's a summary of the article. Egyptian authorities have forced a Guardian journalist to leave the country after she reported on a scientific study that said Egypt was likely to have many more coronavirus cases than have been officially confirmed. Ruth Michelson, who has lived in and reported from Egypt since 2014, was advised last week by Western diplomats that the country's security services wanted her to leave immediately after her press accreditation was revoked and she was asked to attend a meeting with authorities about her visa status. On Sunday 15 March, Michelson had reported on research by infectious disease specialists from the University of Toronto as well as public health data and news stories that pointed to Egypt having a higher rate of coronavirus cases than the number confirmed by the government. She cited a study accepted for publication in the Lancet Infectious Diseases Journal, which had analyzed flight records, traveler data and infection rates to estimate that Egypt could have had 19,310 coronavirus cases by early March, with the lower end of the range about 6,000 cases. The Guardian offered the Egyptian authorities the chance to write a letter for publication rebutting its report or the Canadian study, but received no response to the offer. The Guardian is a global news organization that strives to report with clarity and integrity at all times, a spokesperson for The Guardian said. The Committee to Protect Journalists said in its annual report last year that 26 reporters were detained in the country and that most had been prosecuted in groups on charges of terrorism and reporting false news. This post received a score of 40,085, with an upvote ratio of 95%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. R. Egypt have been saying the same thing based on the fact that Europeans who came back from Egypt found they had contracted the virus. A super spreader in suburban Philadelphia came back from Egypt with it. Was a children's cardiologist and saw patients upon return. That's tragic and frankly terrifying that we might spread the virus to many others without even knowing. Hence why such a huge lockdown matters so much. I've stayed home from work the last week and a half because I have what appears to be a minor cold, but very well could be COVID-19, but every day my dad says, you're fine, you just have a cold, you can't stay home forever, and my personal favorite yesterday, it's mostly psychosomatic, just tell yourself you're not sick and you'll feel fine. I can't wrap my head around why the older generation is so reluctant to take this seriously. The conversations I have had with my parents and older relatives have made me so frustrated. My in-laws are doing the same. They joke about it and downplay it. They are in a bracket and have conditions that would put them both at very high risk for mortality if they contract it. Yet it is more important to show people the some kind of badass who laughs in death's face also they can shop for more shit they stuff into a closet or shelf. My mum's been like this, but I don't think it's to look badass. Like I think she literally doesn't have a coping mechanism for something serious like this. So to her everything is just being blown out of proportion, it has to be, or else she'd have to face a lot of problems she really doesn't want to. I think that it's a pretty safe assumption, that the number of cases is higher than officially confirmed. Not just for Egypt. True. It's higher for every single country as not everyone qualifies for the test, not even everyone showing symptoms, and they can only test so many people per day. Them and every other damn country. Rule of thumb, trust the Guardian, don't trust governments. There's no way India's numbers are as low as they say, and China is for sure suppressing the data. Have you seen very magical and unprecedented Russian COVID mortality rate? That's among other things. A whole neighborhood in Mecca, Morocco, is now locked to due to 35 persons who came back from Egypt after a trip to there. All of them are positive. I know Trump lies daily about how the US is handling or not handling the situation because he is trying and failing to manipulate the stock markets in a positive way. Why do countries try to obscure the data around COVID-19? I'm sure there are different reasons for different countries. Can some fine internet people help fill in those gaps for me? This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.